When shipping perishable goods, selecting the right cooling medium is critical to a successful last mile strategy. The standard cooling medium for the shipment of perishable goods is dry ice. Due to its unique features, dry ice offers many benefits to the last mile process. It's safe around food. It has a strong cooling capacity. And it's environmentally friendly. Dry ice is a one-way solution, meaning it sublimates back to gas and leaves no waste. Producing dry ice on site eliminates the logistical headaches that can come with sourcing dry ice from an external provider. Not only does on-site production enable facilities to produce dry ice on their schedule, it also gives them greater flexibility to meet customer demand. Different quantities, sizes, and shapes of dry ice are needed based on the goods being shipped, the length of the trip, and space constraints of different shipping containers. Installing a dry ice production unit enables the creation of the exact quantity, size, or form of dry ice needed. On-site dry ice production also makes automation possible. Dosing and metering systems can be installed into an existing process and allow for the production of pre-programmed amounts of dry ice directly into packaging containers. Alternative cooling options, which include gel packs and refrigerated trucks, have their drawbacks. While gel packs are easier to store and handle than dry ice, they raise serious environmental concerns. Gel packs create a tremendous amount of waste that is difficult to recycle. Most consumers will simply throw the packs away, but some environmentally conscious consumers may attempt to recycle them, which can be a difficult task. In most areas, they can only be recycled at designated recycling locations. Some companies have take-back programs, which allow customers to mail back the gel packs free of charge. While this results in some gel packs being recycled, it introduces a considerable amount of added cost. The cost of the return shipment sanitization, and pack recooling will add up quickly. Another cooling option is transporting goods in refrigerated trucks. This option can provide the appropriate cooling without the added step at the distribution center of applying a cooling medium into the packages. However, the process presents logistical issues and raises serious concerns about its impact on the environment. Perishable goods must be constantly cooled or they will immediately change temperature. This becomes an issue when items are loaded onto the truck and unloaded for delivery. Poor loading practices often leave perishable goods sitting on the loading dock longer than permissible, resulting in a large percentage of goods loaded onto trucks at the wrong temperatures. There is also a risk of equipment failure and driver error, which could result in a complete loss of refrigeration or the goods being kept at the wrong temperature. Refrigerated trucks are the least environmentally friendly option. They can use up to 25% more fuel than traditional trucks and release a significantly higher amount of polluting particle, such as refrigerant chemicals and nitrogen oxides. Cities are also beginning to introduce regulations to limit fuel power trucks in city centers. Many cities are beginning to institute low emission zones, which charge an entrance fee to fuel-powered cars and trucks. The use of electric trucks greatly reduces the impact on the environment, but they are constrained by radius and battery power and are often not viable. Dry ice continues to be the most effective cooling medium for last mile deliveries and producing it on site allows for optimal control and efficiency while being environmentally friendly at the same time. Cold Jet, the force of nature.